Hello, this is a Grotrin Steinweg upright piano, one, two, three centimetres tall. And it's the kind of piano we're always trying to source and so grateful when we get them in. One of the very top quality uprights that you can get alongside Steinway, Becksteins and so on. And this is made in 1981, so it's a heyday of really fine quality German pianos. So just want to appreciate the piano and also see what sort of work he's doing to improve it. There is some casework damage, and I'll try and show you that, especially if you're going to buy this without coming to see. Now, my colleague hasn't been over it yet, so he'll obviously make good these things. There's a slight corner on the corner and the other side, similar, and the, and the toes. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but otherwise, there's no fading, and uh, my colleague will make a good job of disguising that, I'm pretty sure. So uh, if you look at the music stand here, it doesn't seem to have much wear. That's always a sign that the piano hasn't had much wear. Looking inside the piano, we can see the kind of high quality of manufacture. Uh, as good as any modern piano could possibly be. Um, there's the Morley number there. That's, they were the importers, Morleys of Lewisham. So we can actually contact them and give them that number and they'll tell us about the piano but usually they tell us what we already know uh, though I might well contact them if we have time just to find out so it's a one two two but it's actually one two three including the casters at all um, but it's a common model of Grotian and Grotian in the 1930s made beautiful pianos too so looking at the hammerware there's very little hammerware on, on the piano uh, though you might notice that there's some slight indentation on it and this is important um, because there was some slight moss damage there and in the action no other moss damage as far as we could see just little evidences of it being there but underneath the keys we decided to change all the felts which were damaged by the moss so if we lift a couple out you can see that we put new new felts underneath the keys there's a couple of them um, the whole of the refelted the whole of the keyboard uh, which we felt was necessary um, but uh, it's quite common even for modern pianos to get moss so we we use lavender uh, or lavender and cedarwood spray afterwards to deter them to come back and of course we've treated it with the uh, moth killer before that as well it just has a, a luscious tone throughout <laughs> and very good break point we've said many times that how the manufacturer manages to disguise the fact that that's going to one part of the sample, that to another, and the different types of strings. But you'll see the tone is very similar indeed. And you won't get that on, especially on cheap modern pianos. And the beautiful lush bass sound. So it's a little used Grotrian Steinberg upright piano made in 1981. And as good as you can get really. Uh, the only issue here was that there was some moss damage which we've treated obviously and, and then uh, we've replaced felts that were necessary and there's a five year guarantee on our piano so we're obviously we don't want to uh, have recurrence of moth and we do put lavender and, and cedarwood spray into our pianos just to prevent the moth from coming. Um, if we look, look here we can see the key weighting is slightly varied so it's a little bit high on in the bass there the, it's not too varied, it's just uh, slightly heavy, I would say, generally. Um, it should be more like, as we said, about 48 in the top, 50 here, and 52 in the base. So if you uh, want a heavier touch, just practice on. This is pretty much um, ideal and consistent, but uh, if you want a normal touch, so about 50, 50 grams in the center, we can certainly do that. We can bring the touch down to that. Uh, so that's personal, obviously. Um, so we replaced the key felts, we've touched up the case, it's been pitch raised to 4-3 four, four, and uh, extremely tight tuning pins, so generally perfectly made piano really, as good as you can possibly get. Um, so there's a few things there you might have noticed. I want to regulate the dampers the keys a little bit, they should lift about two thirds I think towards the keys on this piano because um, they're quite heavy damper springs which is excellent for damping. This is a Yamaha U3. And a new Foric 122. And a 1929 Thank you. 
So that's a Grotrian Steinweg upright piano, 122 centimetres tall, 123, sorry, and made in 1981. And really, there's no better piano than this for, uh, as an upright piano, I believe. Uh, certainly of this height, um, obviously there are some really tall upright pianos, but the U3 that we is taller by 10 centimetres isn't a better piano, certainly. And this has a warmer tone, I think, than, than Japanese pianos. tenor area is just exquisite really. By the way if you want a lot of legroom this is excellent for legroom an extra is two or two and a half centimeters more than most pianos so if you're a tall person that's very important. and it allows for really delicate playing. So it's a really good piano to, to learn the piano on or just to enjoy. You wouldn't get a better piano. And buying a new piano, unless you pay really for the same make new, then you're not going to get the same quality. And the 80s pianos, as we've mentioned many times, early 80s, 70s and 80s, some of the best pianos ever made. Thank you very much for listening. If you're interested in the piano, please do write to us, info at robertspianos.com.